Do you ever feel overwhelmed by your fitness goals? Like no matter how hard you try, the results just aren't coming. If that's the case, you're not alone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why focusing on your inputs, the actions and the efforts, rather than the outcomes or goals is actually the key to achieving your fitness goals and how this simple shift can transform your entire approach to fitness. So when pursuing any goal, especially in fitness, it's crucial to prioritize the inputs, the actions and the efforts that you can control, not the desired outcomes. This approach not only makes the whole process a lot more manageable, but more importantly, it makes it a lot more enjoyable and sustainable in the long run. Focus on the input of your efforts, not the outcome. You see, you have control over your actions and the effort that you put forward, not the outcomes. So when it comes to losing fat, building muscle, or achieving any fitness goal, setting goals is important. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that. And whether it's losing 20 pounds of fat, bench pressing 225 for 10 reps, or being able to do 10 strict pull Ups. These goals should act as your North Star or your final destination, but they should not be what you focus on day in and day out. They shouldn't be your, your primary focus. Think of your goals as your destination on a road trip. Setting your end destination or your fitness goals is crucial. So you know where you wanna end up, but constantly checking in on that would be like those annoying kids on a road trip asking, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Instead, what you would do is you'd plug in your final destination and just focus on the next steps. Turn left at the next light. Turn right at the next stop sign. Stay on the highway for 57 more miles. Take exit 22, then turn right. While focusing on these steps, you're not thinking about the next one because it's not relevant yet. You can't take exit 22 from the highway until you've driven those 57 miles. Similarly, don't worry about your destination once you've created a plan to get there. Instead, just focus on the immediate steps and you're going to eventually reach your fitness goals. For example, if your goal is to lose 20 pounds, focus on the actions that you need to take to achieve that instead of just focusing on your weight right now and how you haven't lost the 20 pounds yet. Some of those steps might look like improving your diet. So you could improve your diet by setting daily nutritional targets, like hitting your calories and hitting your protein. You could increase your physical activity by aiming for 10,000 steps a day and lifting weights a couple times a week. And by prioritizing your sleep, by setting a bedtime routine to ensure that you get your eight hours of sleep or more each and every night. This is where your energy should be directed, on the inputs towards your goals, not the actual goals themselves. Because the fact is you don't have direct control over the outcomes but you can control your actions. And that's exactly why you should be focusing on that. So some practical benefits of focusing on your inputs or your efforts or your actions. You wanna control what you have control over. So you have direct control over your inputs. You can decide how much effort to put forward into a task, how consistent you are and how you approach your challenges. Outcomes on the other hand can be influenced by factors that are outside of your control. So it doesn't make sense to spend your time focusing on those outcomes. By focusing on your actions, you develop sustainable habits that lead to long-term success. And it's this daily grind, the small consistent steps that ultimately lead to significant achievements. Stress often comes from worrying about results or goals, but when you shift your focus to your actions, you can alleviate the pressure of outcomes and can work more efficiently and enjoyably. Just think about it. If you're always focusing about that end goal in the example we talked about earlier, losing 20 pounds, you're gonna feel like you're not making progress day to day. But if you can just focus on checking that box for the day, whether that be getting your 10,000 steps, whether that be eating your 150 grams of protein, whatever the daily micro step is, you're going to feel a lot better and eventually you're going to get to that goal and you're gonna see that you're putting in those inputs and you're checking off those boxes day in and day out. And before you know it, you're gonna reach that goal. Concentrating on your inputs allows for continuous learning and improvement. 
because each action is a step towards mastering this craft that you're working on and every effort contributes towards your growth. When setbacks or challenges happen, focusing on your actions, your inputs are gonna help you stay resilient. And you can always adjust your actions and try again, whereas dwelling on the less than ideal outcomes can just be discouraging and isn't going to get you closer to your goals. So by shifting your focus to your inputs, your actions, you're going to reach your goals in a much more enjoyable and a much more sustainable way. Remember, the journey is just as important as the destination. In fact, I would argue that it's even more important than the destination because the destination isn't a real thing. There is no such thing because once you get there, you're going to set a new goal and we'll get into that in another video, but focusing on the process, the things that you're doing, that's it. It. That's the whole purpose of it all. So fall in love with it. So by focusing on your inputs rather than the outcomes, you can achieve your fitness goals and enjoy the process so much more. If you want to take your health and fitness to the next level, there is a link down in the description to apply for my one-to-one -one coaching program where we will come up with a custom plan just for you to help you build a sustainable plan that's going to help you reach those goals quicker and easier than if you were to do it on your own. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Other than that, until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.